I tried this free tweaking utility to help boost my FPS in game, and I'm telling you, this tool is a game changer. We're going to be using the D1 free tweaking utility to boost FPS, to boost your low latency, and overall make your PC feel smooth. But before we start the video, I'm going to tell you guys about tools that can completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance and lowest possible latency. If you guys want to know about these tools, go check out VelocityTweaks.com where you can find all of our tweaking utilities. We have hundreds of reviews in our Discord server and website combined. So make sure to check out VelocityTweaks.com to completely optimize your PC. So first things first, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be downloading the files used in the video. Simply go to the browser and I want you to guys search up discord.gg slash velocity tweaks. And we're just going to press enter. And once we've done that, it should open up the discord server and we're just going to continue. Now I'm already in the server. So afterwards, once you guys are in the server, you guys are going to go over to the free utility section. And you're going to go scroll up. And you guys are going to find the free utility. You guys are going to click download. And once you've downloaded it, it's going to be in your download section. So right here. So I'm just going to tell you guys something about this. This is completely open source. So if you guys are scared that it contains a virus, you know, or it might harm your PC, you guys are more than happy to scan on virus total or look through the code yourself if you're a coder. Okay. So once we've downloaded the program, we're going to first, we're going to open it up. But we have to make sure that we run it as administrator. Otherwise, the tweaks will not run properly, guys. You have to run as admin. So I'm going to do that. Ask me. I'm going to... And then afterwards, the utility will open up. Now, this is a new one that we've made. And this one has a new UI, and it's really good. So first things first, we're going to press 0 on our keyboard. This is so we can create a restore point to ensure that, you know, if something breaks during the utility, uh, the tweaking process, we can always go back to the restore point. Or just in case if you guys want to, you know, revert what happened and you guys don't like them, you can always just go back. So we're going to do that first. Now, once we've done the restore point, we're going to be doing some general tweaks by pressing one on the keyboard. So these tweaks, you know, uh, they just optimize, you know, the Windows OS and they just improve certain certain general settings inside the PC, you know, such as like the appearance, you know, and audio settings and so on. This helps, you know, reduce any type of latency on the PC. So we're going to do that one first. And once it finishes this, I'm just going to press enter so that I can continue. And next up, we have number two. Number two is called the Windows tweaks. And this it will just tweak, you know, your Windows settings, your game mode, hardware acceleration, you know, performance settings. And this just reduces latency, increases FPS, you know, it disables all those unnecessary Windows features that we don't need at all, you know. Next up, we have our USB hub tweaks. Now the USB hub to it will just, you know, reduce the latency from our peripherals, you know, such as, you know, your mouse and keyboard, your controller, and if you use a joystick, maybe, or anything else that is a peripheral in general. So this will just, you know, reduce all that latency because as it says in the name, it will improve USB. Now, next up, we have our CPU tweaks and this we're just going to press 4-4 and up. And then it's going to pop up with a screen asking which CPU company we have. For me personally, I have Intel. Now you guys might have AMD or Intel, but I have Intel. So I'm going to press one and then it's going to just continue. And then we'll go back to that menu and we're going to have to do the CPU tweaking. Now what this will do is, you know, it will remove any bottlenecking and it will like unpack all the CPU cores and it will make a personalized CPU power plan just for your specific CPU. So I have Intel, I pressed one and I pressed enter. Next up, we're going to press three. We're going to do CPU tweaks. Once it's finished, we're going to press any key to continue. I'm going to press four so we can go back to the main menu. Now, afterwards, we've gone back to the main menu. We have the input delay tweaks and it's just like the name says, it just makes it so you have better input delay and reduces all that, you know, unnecessary delay that you have. So I'm just going to do that next. It's just, you know, it just applies the right values so you can have the lowest, lowest input delay you guys can have. 
Now, once we've done the input delay tweaks, we have the GPU tweaks. Now, the GPU tweaks is one of the best things for gaming. So we're going to press 6 for that. And depending on what GPU you guys have, you're going to have to do the same thing again. Now, you have a NVIDIA or AMD or, you know, the upcoming Intel GPUs. So what this will do is it will just, you know, it will install those specific GPU driver settings and it will, like, improve your AMD or NVIDIA control panel for those optimized settings for gaming. So me personally... I don't have an, uh, a dedicated GPU on my PC yet because I have problems right now. So I'm not going to do this. But if you guys have a video, you'd press 2. Or if you had an AMD, you'd press 2. And we're going to go back to the main menu. And next up, we have our memory tweaks. Now, this, it will just, you know, improve your memory. It's going to, like, apply those proper registry values based on your memory. Now, if you guys want to find out, because it's going to ask you how much gigabytes you have. And if you want to find out how many gigabytes you have, you guys go here. You right-click, or you press Windows X, and you just click on Task Manager. You're going to go over to Performance. Then you're going to go to Memory. And at the top right of the memory area, you're going to see how much you have. So me, I have 16, so I'm going to write 1, 6. I'm going to press Enter, and it's going to do its tweaks. And once it finishes, we're just going to press any key. Maybe Enter. Now, next up, we have our storage tweaks. Now, this, guys, this is one of the most important things when it comes to gaming and boot times. The faster your SSD is, the faster your boot times, the faster the game loads, the faster the game will run as well. So we want to try and improve that by, you know, making the SSD run faster. Or if you guys have an NVMe, so I'm going to press 8 for that one. And next up, we're going to be using our... Windows the disk cleaner, so I have uh, only one drive as you guys can see so I'm gonna be optimizing that one and once it's finished over here I'm just gonna click close it's 50% and it's fairly quick you know you just click close and that's done now last thing is last we have our debloats so as you guys know Windows 10 and 11 both come with a lot of bloatware that you guys do not need at all and this is because of, you know, the downloaded apps that come on default by default. To fix this, we're going to be using the debloat script that we have here. By pressing 9, we're going to be entering. Now, this will take some time, depending on how fast your computer is. So, yeah, you guys just have to finish that. So now that it's finished, it's just going to close and that's done. Now your PC, guys, is fully tweaked. And all you have to do next up is just give it a quick restart and you guys can enjoy the extra FPS boost that you guys will be gaining from this. So we here at Velocity Tweaks just want to thank you all for being part of this community. And we're eager to build these, you know, programs just for you guys so you guys can enjoy this and have better performance for free. Or you guys can make sure to check out our paid versions. They're extremely cheap and they're really well designed. These, so as you guys can see, the free utility is really good. Now imagine how good the, the paid will be. So, you guys need to go make sure you join our Discord and go check out our premium utilities. And have a good day. I hope you guys enjoy this.